Hey guys, what's up, what's up? It's me, Sean John, AKA The Middleman CEO. Uh, so listen, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but I've been paying attention. So just in case you haven't, because I know you have a busy life, I know you have things to do, I just want to fill you in on a couple of things. Uh, number one, the cost of living is substantially higher today than it's ever been probably in your lifetime and my lifetime. That's probably uh, a, a fair assessment and something that I could say without fear of contradiction. Uh, number two, buying things like houses and cars are, well, for the, for the majority, the vast majority, it's a terrible, terrible idea. So, I know I get a lot of pushback because I talk about things that's controversial. I talk about things that people don't want to hear. People want to be fed the lie. People want to believe that it's all good. And if that if we can just get to the wizard, he could send us back to paradise again, to home again. So off we go, <clears throat> working our butts off on the yellow brick road, day after day, day after day, because we've been promised by politicians, by our programming, by our parents, that things are gonna get so much better. And listen, I want you to know that I want things to get better. I would love for the prices of houses to go back to 2020. The prices of cars, are you kidding me? A, a used car pretty much costs the same as a new car right now. So when I tell you that conventional thinking or the way that you've been thinking or the way that you've been programmed when it comes to finances is going to lead you to a path of utter financial darkness. That's right. You guys <clears throat> still haven't, uh, like, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to say it the wrong way, but there's a lot going on and you guys aren't paying attention. I'll say it that way. We're watching some things. I'm not a I'm not a big news guy. I'm careful about where I get my news, uh, but a lot of you aren't. You just get your news emotionally from wherever you can get it from, and they're telling you that the economy is fine, that the economy is good, that a seven percent interest rate on a house is not a bad thing because if you look back 10, 20 years, there were 12, 13, 14, 15 percent interest rates. And you guys are like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So I come in and then I submit to you, hey, wait a second, pump your brakes. Let me talk to you, all right? Firstly, when that was the case, houses were very, very affordable and compared to today, very cheap. Now, if you're a first time homeowner looking for a home, you've gone to school, you've worked hard, you've got a degree, you've saved up money, you got all that debt, from college, and then by the way, college is one of the few places that force you, well that, well the school in general, but college, because they can force you to, my wife and I was having this conversation just the other day, and, and my wife's a dental hygienist, and she was telling me about the history of art class, and I was like, what, what were you doing in that? Because I'm, I'm not a college student, right? I, thankfully, I didn't do college. And she said, and college works for some people, don't get me wrong, but for me, it wasn't the right thing. Uh, and she said, she was like, yeah, I was taking history of art. And I was like, what? You telling me that they forced you to pay for a class that you didn't need? Wow. And now that, let's say the class for that semester was $10,000. Now that's a $10,000 uh, debt that you have to pay for something you didn't want, you didn't need. But they forced you to do it because they lay out these curriculums and sell you all these classes you don't need. I think it's hilarious, but it's pretty damn bad that they do that, right? And so, again, if you want to make it in this economy, because we are in the first part, I think, of a recession. Harder times are coming, much harder, where you're going to see the crime go up. Because when people lose everything, morality is the first thing to go out the window. Hey, normally I wouldn't break into your house, but my kids are starving. We don't have any food, right? And so morality is the first thing to go out of the window, right? And so 
when you see when you see these things start to happen, you have to understand that the economy is sick. When you see gas prices jump 50 cents overnight, the economy is sick. It's telling you it's sick. When you see housing prices almost double, mind it, in two years, you know that the economy is sick, right? When you see people working two and three jobs and having being, being forced to neglect their families because they have to pay these things called bills and expenses, you know that the economy is sick, right? When you see a bunch of things, borders open and unsecured, uh, the economy is sick. When you see the government pass a 1.2 trillion, trilly, with a T, 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 capital T, bill to support themselves, we should defund the government, uh, by the way, uh, then you know that the economy is sick. That's why I always tell you guys, because you come after me when I say, don't save money. Well, why, Sean? Saving money is a good idea, just in case you have a rainy day. Uh, don't manifest rainy days. Well, just in case you have an emergency. Don't manifest emergencies. Well, how much should I have in, a, in an account? Should I have zero? No, you shouldn't have zero. But if you have a couple thousand, 2,500, a month's worth of your bills, you're good. It's not gonna take you a month to recover. Not if you do what I teach you to do, which is I teach you how to start your own business. So you don't have to worry about these paychecks. You guys are tired to paychecks, governed by paychecks, and your life is a struggle. By the way, tonight, this could potentially be my free live, my free, last free, I should say, my last free Zoom training where I'm gonna teach you how to build a middleman business from your phone without leaving your house, without having to do any of the work, you're gonna book customers, dispatch the customers to someone else, and then get paid, right? I teach you how to do that, 7 p.m. tonight, Texas time. Don't miss it. It's probably gonna be the last one I do, so you don't wanna miss it. And I got a great bonus for you if you're there. But you've gotta forget your old ways of finances. You gotta learn new ways. You gotta put yourself in position to make money, be self-sustainable. You're gonna lose your job. Whether it's today, tomorrow, I don't know, but it's coming. I know that. You're gonna lose your job. Your company wants you to lose your job. They're trying to fire you. That's why they're trying to bring in all this technology so they can get rid of you, right? You guys jump out there. I got friends right now live in this very nice neighborhood I live in who's almost paycheck to paycheck. Blew my mind. And I'm telling you guys, you have got to be prepared for what's coming. You cannot afford to just let it creep up on you and be caught off guard. How do you not get caught off guard? By protecting yourself now, right? Protect yourself now. Get, get financial insurance. I know they don't sell that, but what I'm talking about is when you want to protect your car, you get insurance. When you protect your house, you get insurance. When you want to protect your family in case something happens to you, you get insurance. Well, why aren't you getting insurance, hypothetically, when it comes to your finances? Meaning what? Meaning that you need to understand if something happens to your paycheck, you're in a lot of trouble. So the insurance would be to create some passive income, money coming in when you're not at work so you don't always need the job. So if anything happens to the job, it's fine, you're good. The way to do that, create a side business, side hustle, whatever you wanna call it. If you wanna do what I do, start a middleman business. I started in 2020, I'm still doing it today. Made 77,000 my first year. That's a win, because I I did it from home, so I, I think that's awesome. I know it's not a a ridiculous amount of money, or like we say in South Louisiana. I know it's not buku money. Hey, but it's something, right? So if I can teach you to do it, that's good, right? And then fast forward 2024, we're on pace to do $350,000 this year, hopefully more, and I'll share it with you, uh, but hopefully more, uh, but we're, we'll be okay with that right now. And now I'm teaching students how to do it, and right now we're over 200, which blew my mind. I thought I'd probably get 10 or 20. So I was sharing it with my wife. I was like, this is nuts. But people are ready to change their lives and change their finances and saying, hey, I'm sick of working for this job. I'm sick of slaving away for this paycheck. I want my life back. I want my freedom back. I want my time back. I want my family back. I want the lifestyle I want to live. I want to live life on my terms and not someone else's. I'd rather make myself wealthy than to make these company owners wealthy. Well, if you feel that way, and that's how I did in 2020, then be in the free live training tonight. It's going to be about 45 minutes. I promise I'm not going to keep you long. And I'm going to try to change your life by teaching you three things, how to book, deposit, and dispatch. All right, so if you're serious about changing your life, you'll be in the class tonight. Oh, get there early because seating is limited. I only let a certain amount of people in because I got this really nice gift for you. Everybody can't get it. 
just those who want to change their lives. Everybody else, we'll see you on the other side. Have a great day, guys. Subscribe, thumbs up, peace.